Okay, so this is the same. Oh, honey, it's okay. It's okay. This is the same little baby. I've subcut him and give him some um, glue toast gel. He's absolutely terrified out of his mind. Honey, it's okay. It's okay. You're okay. So he just needs to really decompress and um, need some special head rubs, don't you, just to be safe, feel safe again. He's so frightened. So we don't know what happened to him out there or how long he's been out there. He's about 25 grams underweight and he was quite dehydrated. Well, he still is. The fluids are still doing their, doing their thing. Mm, you're very, very frightened, aren't you? Wow. Poor little things. And, and quite often when they come in like this, they actually do have nightmares. I wake up screaming. So I suggested he'll probably be one of those. And um, he'll settle, but just takes these bigger people a bit longer. He's about seven weeks now. And we don't know what happened to his mummy, but you've had some awful weather. So she was, he was found quite near overhead power line, so it could well be that he's another victim of, um, his mum at least was a victim of overhead power line electrocution. Large wingspan, touch two, two wires, circuit is created, mum dies, usually baby survives. Um, so this baby has got a few, a few bits of meat off him. He's, um, on his poor little wrist, he looks like he's been crawling. But I do think he's been down for a couple of days. So I've just wrapped him really tightly to try and offer some more, to make him feel more physical support and comfort. And he took to his dummy really well. He likes that dummy. So I'm just going to let him have a little rest, let him absorb those fluids, get him in a lovely warm bed and just let him decompress and have a little sleep. And then when he wakes up, we'll start on some oral fluids. And um, he's just a lot, lot better than what he was. Even five minutes ago, aren't you? You're feeling a lot calmer, a lot safer now. And he's clearly very tired, so I'll get him off to bed now. Then we'll have to find you a name, won't we, darling? Yeah, very brave name is what you need. A brave boy.